today's video, I'm going to test out three different weed control products on the same plot of weeds, actually the same weed in three different plots, and we're going to see which one works the fastest. Now, I'm doing this in late winter, early spring, March, near Birmingham, Alabama. We're, let me start by showing you the weed, and then I'll show you the products. We'll spray the, the products on the weeds, mark which product we sprayed with each plot, and then we'll come back and check and see how the results show. So here's the weed. Now. I have done a lot of weed identification videos, and I'm sorry, I don't actually know the name of this. So I'm going to ask you guys to please put in the comments what this thing's called. I'm sure there's some app I could take a picture of, uh, and it would maybe tell me. But this is some big broadleaf weed that's in the middle of a Bermuda yard in March. And with the weather, if it was warmer, it would work faster. If it was colder, it would work slower. We're just going to, it's going to be the same temperature for all three products in the race. So we'll see. This is the weed we're spraying. I've got three different plots. All right, so here's our here's our products. I've tested a lot of products on a lot of different weeds. Today we're going with Tribute Total. This is a product we use on Bermuda and Zoysia lawns. It's not for cool season grasses. It is a, a, a combination product that is good for grass weeds, broadleaf weeds, and uh, and sedges. So it's kind of a, a premier product. If you just want a combo product, can take care of everything most everything in a Bermuda and Zoysia lawn. We've got Blindside. Now Blindside can be used on some cool season lawns, I believe. I use it on my warm season lawns. Blindside's great on wild garlic and onions. It's great on broadleaf weeds. This is Metsofuron as well as Sulfitrazone. So we're gonna test out Blindside. And the last product we're gonna use is called Change Up. Change Up I use a lot. It comes in smaller size jugs and this is two and a half gallon jug it's actually not that expensive per application though the jug might be a little bit expensive if you buy a two and a half gallon jug but great for broadleaf weeds i use change up uh, on my warm season lawns i think it's also labeled for some cool season lawns we're going to test them out and see which one works the fastest uh all right what i'm going to do i've got these marking flags here we'll put a a c for change up maybe a b for blind side Pardon my writing with these gloves, BL, whatever. And how about T for tribute? All right, let's mark them and spray them, check on the results. I've been getting away from the pump up sprayers going more toward battery. This is the Milwaukee two gallon battery powered sprayer. They gave me this one, but I like it very much. I bought these, these are from Scott's. I bought two of them, but I just get tired of pumping and uh, really like both of these sprayers. So I can put a link in the description if you want to check those out. All right, we're going to start with the Tribute Total. Just going to spray lightly, not trying to drown the weeds. Now, it's going to go down, I'm showing in the next couple of days in the 50s, even going below freezing uh, in a couple of days from now. So we'll see how that affects. If it was up in the 70s, we'd get faster results. But again, it's a level playing field for all three products. This is the blind side. And lastly, we're going to go with the change up. All right, we'll come back and check on the results. All right, time to check in on the weeds. I sprayed the initial application on a Saturday. Today is the following Wednesday, and I'm gonna do the final checkup on Saturday. So this is our one midweek checkup. Let's see what's going on. Maybe first it would help to show you the untreated weeds here. Now these are even more mature, going to, to seed and flowering and whatever else. But you can see what they look like. Now let's look at the ones that we did spray. First up here, we've got the Tribute Total. And I'll say, after looking at these, there's almost no change, okay? Now does that mean it's not gonna work? No, I, I have about 99% confidence that this is gonna work. But if we're in a race, 
Tribute total is not exactly blowing out of the gates. Hopefully we'll get some action before Saturday. Next up, we've got blindside, and maybe you can see it on camera, the noticeable difference here. Particularly, I'm thinking this is the sulfentra zone, but you've got the browning of the leaves, some serious discoloration of what's going on here, leaf curling. So just within a few days, starting to see visible discoloration on these plants. And the, lastly, we've got the change up and it's a little different. It's not really discoloring the plants, but look at what it's doing. They're starting to twist and curl. And I don't know, as, as we continue on, I'll have to decide if we're gonna end this at a week. We might need to go a little bit longer to, to really get the full test of the full results here. But you can see some, some twisting and curling with the change up. So some action here on the change up, some discoloration on the blind side. Not much going on the tribute total. We'll check back and see what they look like on Saturday. I've given it six more days since the last update. We're at 13 days total since the initial application. Let's see what the weeds look like. Again, let's go over to the mature ones first, show you what those look like. Very, very mature weeds. We are into spring, growing fast, warmer weather. We'll start over here, tribute total. And I'm telling you, this, this, these weeds are, are slower than I thought they would be. After six more days of fairly warm weather, you can see noticeable difference, but nothing like overly impressive. I feel like if the grass is cut, that these weeds are just simply not going to grow back. I feel actually very confident that that was going to happen. Or if you let it go on for another two weeks, eventually they'll get so withered up and look terrible. But I mean, it, it's it's time to mow the grass. I'll mow. I mean, this Bermuda grass is starting to turn green rather quickly. Next up, we got the blind side. As has been the case pretty much all along, the most dramatic results came from the blind side. Again, I think if it's mowed, these weeds aren't coming back, or we can let them continue to deteriorate. And then lastly, the change up in a, a different looking effect than the others, some curling action, but just kind of not that impressive, honestly. Okay, so these videos don't always go the way they're planned, but I'm going to tell you exactly what happened on this video and what we can learn from. So I originally shot this video thinking that this was going to be a, a, a one week, how fast can these things die? kind of video. I did it for a week and, and it didn't get a lot of action. So now it's, it's probably been a month, just to be honest with you, since I originally sprayed the weeds. So let me show you the results, tell you what we learned, and draw our conclusion. All right, let's start with the untreated ones that we have over here. And you can see, I, did, I haven't cut the grass in this area. I'll let them just continue to be full maturity. And then you come over here, the ones that we did spray. So this is our change up plot. This is a uh, blind side, and then over here is the tribute total. Now, significant difference since the last time we looked at it, but here's what was the thing that happened. It became time for me to cut the grass, okay? So I was like, it's getting tall. I wanna watch these weeds die. The weather was cooler, and I guess I realized and they didn't die as fast as I thought they would. So what I ended up doing was uh, cutting the grass, and I wasn't paying attention, basically. I ended up cutting through a, a half of a section of them that I had sprayed, like with the change-up or one of the particular products. And I thought, wait a minute, that might actually be a good idea. So I went and I cut half of all three of the plots so that we can show what happens when they get sprayed. So let's take a look. So for instance, this is the change up plot, okay? And when I look at this, I just thinking, honestly, this is not that impressive at all. Now I know change up will work super fast when the weather gets a little bit warmer and can really get the results. But I mowed the grass a week ago and look at the ones that were mowed. And you can see here, they're cut and they haven't grown. They're not growing. So what actually happens, if I were to cut those with the lawnmower, same plot here, I sprayed those, sprayed these. They don't look that impressive, but that's what happens. They just don't grow back. 
and they continue to die out. Now it may take time, and that's what I learned. It wasn't very fast, but it was effective. All right, same thing over here with the blind side. We got more visible results with the blind side. We got a lot of yellowing of the plant and you know more visible results, but you look at the ones that were cut with the lawnmower, same kind of thing, not growing back. And that's ultimately what we're going for. The tribute total plot started off kind of slow, gotten honestly maybe the most impressive visible results from the ones that weren't cut. And the ones that were cut, you can see again, not growing back. So was this fast? Not really. Was it effective? Yes. Was it overly impressive results that were super visible? Not really. But I think what we can learn is sometimes when you feel it's not working, you might have to give it more time. And then when you're still not getting the visible results you thought you were doing, once you cut it, you see, well, it didn't grow back. And then later you forget about it. You go back and look and it's gone. And then of course they can put down a pre-emergent next fall and not have this weed show back up. So we learned something. Uh, if I was ranking initial results, blindside was the fastest initial results. Long-term, it looked like the Tribute Total probably did the best job uh, then the blind side, then the change up, but all three were effective in controlling the weed in the lawn. Hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching. There's a lot of videos on here. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, do that. Also, if you need resources for weed control and fertilization business or mowing business, you can go to lawncarelife.com. We'll see you guys in the next video.